Are you the next Pinoy vlog star? Welcome to the home of Vlogstar TV, where Pinoy vloggers shine. I am Alexa Tinsay and I will be your host for the first online reality show that aims to discover the best and the brightest Pinoy vloggers. Dito man sa Pinas o saan man sa mundo. Alright, we are now in our second challenge. Now, the second challenge requires our vloggers to create a 3-minute video about anything interesting within where they live. So, let's take a look once again with our panel of judges who will review their work. I'm Awan Rosales. I'm a singer actress from Viva Entertainment. I will be one of the judges here at Vlogster TV. I am Chino Corpus. I am one of your judges for Pinoy Vlog TV. I'm Karen Johnson and I'm so excited to be a judge for Vlog Story TV. So that's it for today. I hope na na-inspired kayo sa kwento ng lola ko kasi kung hindi dahil sa pagpupursiti nila is wala kami ngayon sa tamasa na ganito. Thank you for watching. Bye! Okay guys, na pa yung transition sa ending ng ginanam mo yung tamay mo sa cam para sa iyo. Tapos animation maganda. Uh, medyo na overkill lang kasi napansin ang dami mong effects na ginagamit. Eh maganda naman yung content mo. Minsan yung less is more. So, yun lang. Yun lang naman ang comment ko sa kanya. So, so take, uh, take note of that. Good luck.
But the first thing that I noticed when watching your vlog was how sweet your voice was and how cute your demeanor and everything about you is. And I love the music choice because it was perfect for your personality. So bye guy, I loved it. Um, I thought that the message of your video was very inspirational. I know firsthand many people that have had issues and obstacles with their education and seeing a video like this is just so inspirational and it would really give a lot of people out there hope. So really great job on that. Um, I thought that when you were interviewing your Lola, you guys were kind of both looking at the camera or both looking elsewhere, but if you just looked at each other and had that that eye contact, it would feel more connected and it would feel more natural. So watch out for that when doing interviews with people the next time. Um, but really great job and I loved your message. This is another all videos that I watch. Oh, little girl, that's so cute. <laughs> Only that you didn't introduce yourself. So how can I address you? I think that would um, I would address that to uh, many of the vloggers. I think it's a very important that you introduce yourself in the beginning of your vlog, just so we can address you uh, correctly. And at the same time, if this is a daily vlog or a routine vlog, you've been doing this um, over time already. Pagarang din matanda kayo na mga viewers nyo, first time na kung sa page or sa YouTube channel. Um, Anyway, I'm so much talking so much about that, but uh, overall, so proud to touch in with your vlog. Um, uh, I would touch a couple of these. I would say, unang nakatouch sa akin yung pagkamit mo ng sound, yung background music mo na very inspiring, very bright, and uh, wala kang paligoy-ligoy, sakto, pinakilala mo na agad yung lola mo, si Loli, and that reminds me how my um, my cousins would call me Loli because I love giving advice. So, um, that um, that idea of you going to your lola because she has a very good story to tell you and to tell the younger kids like you, I think it's a good choice, a good topic to um, bring into your audience, especially with your age or your age. Um, ang ganda na kasi uh, very relevant yung topic mo eh. Hindi ka nag-touch yung topic na hindi na intindihan ng tao. Hindi ka nag- or yung age group na mas, uh, mas maganda sa'yo. Very ano, very, very just your age. And I think those kids would li would you know would listen to you to you to your story. And um, you answered by the reviews through your storytelling, through picking a very specific person, which is your Lola, who, where, what, why, um, when, and where, um, natach mo siya. And it's very crucial in storytelling para ma makatch agad ng audience mo kung yung gusto mo message to them. So, it's very good. Um, and towards the end, you left a very special, um, you left a message and um, your a message uh, as you compare yourself um, and you address, you acknowledge their generation, your Lola's generation and um, the great things about them passing on our generation, your generation. Uh, maganda yung moral story niya. Um, pretty much, ano, magaling ka nang magawa ng vlog mo. And also, what I like about your vlog pala is, it's very raw. Um, I think that's what a vlog is all about naman. Na, it doesn't have to be so staged up. It doesn't have to have so many um, so many or it doesn't have to be very scripted it just have to be you and you exemplify that so I like it and I'm looking forward you creating more moral stories and inspiring other kids to see you alright
kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga nangyari sa atin itong makalipas na tatlong buwan. Kung saan nga isinailalim ang buong Pilipinas o ang NCR sa Enhanced Community Quarantine. Kamusta kayo? Kamusta ang inyong mental health? Sinailalim na nga ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa Enhanced Community Quarantine ang buong Luzon. Domestic air and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020 and to end on April 14, 2020. Sa mga nag-develop ng anxiety at depression, nagiging balisa tayo. Um, sa loob ng tatlong buwan na nasa loob tayo ng ating bahay, at iniisip natin kung ano ba yung kakaharapin natin, kung ano ba yung future natin, kung ano pa ang haharapin natin after ng COVID-19. Ito na nga ba ang susunod na pandemya. Dito ang nakalipas na tatlong buwan, nagkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na enhanced community quarantine. Maaaring nagkaroon ito ng magandang pekto sa atin, sa kalikasan, pero may mga negatibong hatid din naman ito, katulad ng pagkakaroon natin ng mental health issue. Noon pa man, bago pumasok ang pandemi, o yung tinatawag natin COVID-19, marami na sa atin ang nakaka-experience ng anxiety, depression, or fear. Pero nang pumasok ang COVID-19 sa buong mundo at sa Pilipinas, marami ang nag-develop ng tinatawag natin mental health. Maaari dito sa Pilipinas ay napakalaking usapin pa ng tinatawag natin mental health, ganun din naman sa ibang bansa. Pero kung hindi natin ito pagtutuunan ng pansin, maaaring ito na ang susunod na pandemya. Maaaring ito na ang susunod na kalaban natin sa ating hinaharap. Kung ikaw ay nakakaramdam ng lungkot, kung ikaw ay nakakaramdam ng takot, kung ikaw ay nakakaramdam ng depression dahil sa tinatawag natin COVID-19 o dahil sa pandemya ito, normal lang yon dahil sa mga nangyayari sa paligid natin ngayon. Kung kailangan mo ng kausap, meron tayong mga professional dyan, meron tayong mga nasa gobyerno na pwede natin puntahan ng libre para mabigyan ng solusyon ang nai-experience natin o ang nananasan natin ngayon. Dahil sa pandemya, marami sa atin ang naging balisa, marami sa atin ang hindi nakakatulog ng maayos, marami sa atin ang nakakaranas ng ng depression, marami sa atin nakakaranas ng anxiety, marami sa atin na hindi nagiging normal ang pagtulog sa gabi. Marami sa atin ang nagdevelop ng takot dahil marami sa atin ang iniisip kung ano ba ang mangyayari sa atin sa hinaharap, kung ano ba ang ating magiging kabuhayan, paano na ang trabaho natin kung magpapatuloy pa rin ang COVID-19. Labanan mo ang iyong takot, labanan mo ang iyong nararamdaman dahil hindi pang matagalan ang nangyayari sa atin ngayon. Nagaan natin ang ating mental health para kung sa ganun at mapagtagumpayan natin ang COVID-19, ay mapagtagumpayan din natin ang laban natin sa tinatawag natin mental health issue. Ako po si Kahel, at samahan niyo ako sa aking susunod na vlog dito sa aking channel. Okay, uh, maganda yung topic. Kailangan natin ngayon yan. Marami talaga na de-depress. Uh, concern ko lang yung mga downloaded graphics. Uh, yun, mas maganda sana kung original. Kung mga madali na naman Photoshop eh, or sa gawa ka na lang ng ganun. Tapos, uh, mukhang masipag ka naman mag-edit. So, next time, sana paayos lang ng audio kasi yung ambient sound nakaka-distract. No, so far, okay naman lahat. So, yun lang. Well, I'm really glad that you kind of tackled the issue of anxiety and depression because I'm sure that with what's going on in the world now, this is affecting many, many, many people. And it's good that you kind of raised awareness on it maybe it's going to help people become more empathetic to those that have depression or it's going to make those that have depression feel less alone in in that so um so great job on the um relevance of your topic i thought that um the spiel at the start seemed a bit muffled so watch if your mic was covered or if that happens maybe you could um heal it with doing a voiceover instead I liked your collection of pictures and clips. It was very um, well researched. So good job at, on that. And um, yeah, just watch your music sometimes also. It cut ab abruptly, so make sure you just fade it out more. So it's gonna be more fluid. Um, but yeah, keep up the good work and great job. Hi Kahal, I just finished watching your video or your vlog. Wow, you have a very good editing skills. Um, I guess that you've been already doing this for quite a while 
and um, I like how you insert graphics and all that I'm a big fan of it so um, that part I think you've already mastered um, I would just comment on a couple of things I think your strength is um, you're very good actually at talking I like your rhythm you know there is no dull moment to lead to the young storytelling it's very comprehensive I pretty much can get it um, uh, maganda yung rhythm mo yung beats and actions while you're talking so mostly when I'm watching the video I'm focused on you and uh, I you easily get me just with your mo modulated voice um, and that could you could use that as um you know to further give your storytelling and mm, otherwise uh i think on the um on the other side lang i'm looking at my notes because i'm taking notes um on the other side lang i guess things that um i can perhaps suggest to you uh, kasi I was, um, just like you guys, I'm also reading, I'm also preparing for so many materials. I'm also preparing for this so that I can also give substantial comment and reviews. Um, I was just actually reading this book. Ito. Um, I, I intentionally show this to you um, among, any other, uh, among any other vlogs. Um, this is the quick and easy way to effective speaking. Um, kasi nakita ko you have that. You have, um, you have, you already have the public speaking skills. So, you have the editing skills, uh, very informative. Um, so, I think you're already, you have a great foundation already. When it comes to vlogging or even when they put you on TV, I actually can see you as a newscaster or broadcaster. Um, just a couple of things I believe and also being supported by this book is that this is by Dale Carnegie by the way um, is uh, with all the things I if, if you uh, if everyone would notice it or if you can notice it I mean kasi ikaw gumawa niyan diba um, you're telling us facts it's all facts to some people, it could be boring, and um, who are not very um, into news, you know, um, you're talking a very sensitive topic, which is anxiety, depression, um, like, I believe nowadays everyone are experiencing depression, diba? Ano na siya, it's a common topic na hindi masolve, pero may, may subtle solution. Um, I would say so that you can connect to all your audience para ma, ano pa, ma, mas malaki yung, uh, yung, yung, yung makakonnect. Mas malaki yung audience mo when it comes to this, not just those who are listening to news or want facts. Uh, give a specific story. Perhaps tell us why or what happened to you during the quarantine. Um, we want to hear you. You want to hear your stories, not what the news says, not what the you know the research says about that. Um, don't get me wrong; I'm a big fan of research studies. Every time I do my essays, I always quote that. But um, something very interesting, nanda ko ako din dun sa book na I wanted to share with you. If you can find that book, or you can message me if you can, um, if you can find that. Uh, Yun, totoo naman eh, especially Filipinos, sa mga chismoso, chismosa. Um, that's nature. Even I want to know what, you know, it's very simple. It's a vlog. Um, usually vlog is organic. Uh, it's just daily activities. Um, I think you can get more views when, um, when you tell a real story from a real person. Or your story during the lockdown, what made you depressed what made you pick the topic is there anything that happened to you during the lockdown um example ako parang i feel it's the sunny kasi ako nang laging nasa labas during the events so 
uh, may times na hindi ako makapakali, uh, minsan naiiyak na lang ako, um, I don't know why, and then, yeah, those sort of things. But um, if you want further advice, um, I'm also learning like you guys, like you, um, you can message me. But so far, I'm looking forward to um, giving us more uh, vital and more specific stories, okay? Team has so much to offer when it comes to food. Mm. World class beaches, mm. resorts, wonders of nature. Mm. Diverse culture. Mm. Best festivals in the world. But one thing which Filipinos are known for, world-class talent, one of them can be found here. Hi guys, I'm James Ibeliano, 17 years old. Si Jane ang pinamagwanan sa mga nagsuwi. Si Juliana ang niyahan ng hood. Nagspala siya sa Mantanong National High School, grade 11 student. Ang apoyo siya sa Mantalungin, Barili, Cebu. At Mantalungin ang pinakadako na livestock market sa Cebu Provincia sa Cebu. Ano nga ang mga barako nga utamun buwan Ahayupan O Ubanta Abaw ba mo sa nakalahin niya?
sa mga panitabukaron sa na pinakaroon na naay pantya nila um, kung saan yung mga challenges na nakatukal ka rin? Um, sa panahon ka rin, dagan kayo nung wag tarang nung trabaho, usa na yung usa na to itong kong pamilya niya, na yun, nabisod mi niya, mga gaya akong padayo, mga gaya akong mi hindi tagpagi para makakaon mi ka katulong sa kadlaw niya, pray lang, pray, pat Stay strong and good. Stay strong and good. Stay strong and good. Stay strong and good. We will rise above all. Medyo naguluhan na ka sa napanood ko. Kasi patalang-talang yung subject. So meron ka sa Pilipinas. Tapos meron ng drawing. Tapos meron ng pandemic. So in a 3 minute video. Hindi ko alam kung saan ba ako magpo-focus ng attention. So, suggestion lang when making vlogs and videos, simplify the video. Kasi pwede ka na magawa ng another vlog eh. So, yun lang. So, para, let's say, sa isang video, uh, limit to at least one topic at a time. So, yun lang. Tapos, yung mga framing mo, ayusin mo lang din. Then, so far, yun lang naman yung comment ko. Yun lang. Good luck. I really enjoyed watching this vlog. It was very informative and it made me appreciate what we have here in the Philippines like more. So, so good job on that. I especially loved seeing the artwork. You're very talented at drawing and you definitely, definitely keep pursuing that. You're, you're really great. Um, I thought at times you could have held the camera a bit more stable. It was a bit shaky quite often. And um, also, I loved the use of those little clips you had on screen while you were talking. It was really great and creative, so I, I like that a lot. And um, yeah, good job. I'm amazed actually with this guy, yung vlogger natin. Um, I'm going to comment about that later because I can't identify, I can't even tell who you are. Because you didn't even mention your name in the beginning. So you're lacking intro and um, extra spiel. But I'm going to comment about that later. Um, for now, whoever you are, oh my gosh, I am so amazed. And um, I am inspired of how you actually um, crafted your vlog. Um, first, okay, I'm going to point out a couple of things. Um, I like, I mean... I'm gonna point this out right away because this is exactly what I seen. I was just, you know, reading earlier, um, effective speaking or effective uh, public speaking or storytelling, I should say. And um, ito yung unang nabanggit don. And kuhang kuha mo siya actually. Um, this is the five W's. So in your storytelling on this vlog, it's very clear and very clearly stated those five w's which is the when where what who why uh yeah your storytelling is crafted creatively introduction is good because from there you state already where you are in the philippines um what you would like to tell everyone pero gumamit ka ng tradition cultures to start your introduction i think it's very catchy it's you know informative and i like that because you're not just giving anything you're it's very sub it's very substantial yung uh binigay mo sa amin na info um and within that three minutes na siksik mula siya kasi the first couple of seconds to your intro punung puno na siya ng kumbaga sustansya eh dahil uy ito pala nasa Philippines ito pala ang meron sa Philippines di ba so what and where um who na insert mo yung who um anong talent and specific specifically you went down to that person um you that one of the talented person na, na scout mo and um you to, you, you you told his story beautifully and you know his talents and all that um yun lang again um i would go back siguro oh i forgot um effort with the text uh i i would acknowledge um of course it's pretty obvious na you can't speak well and that is not a bad thing what i like about you is your courage and um not only courage but you put the text 
di ba? So, you really wanted, I can see your eagerness to relay or relate or make sure that your audience could actually get your message, di ba? That's an effort that's actually a very good one. Um, so, yun, I, I comment on that because that's very important. Um, everything is useless if your audience is not getting what what you're saying or what you're um, what you're what you're telling them what your message is all about and um, I think it's a very smart move because you're you're not very good speaking well um, which again I don't think it's a bad thing uh, you made an effort to uh, think of other ways and you put text in editing while you're editing that it's a whole you know it's a whole thing vlogging is a whole bunch of thing and um and it takes a craft it takes a skill and i think not just a skill physically but you know having the understanding of how you can give that message so it's a good thing um one thing that's lacking i would say um i perhaps would suggest in your next vlog um, just put an intro spiel or extra spiel so that your audience would remember you or would you know like like I am I am critiquing I'm reviewing your vlog at least I can address to you diba? and if I look for you I can easily find you on Facebook or anywhere okay I think you know that's all and I'm um, looking forward for your next vlog tayo isilang sa mundong ibabaw, ay para na tayong mga binghi na nakulong sa madilang na lupa. Doon na malagi at pinagyamang kusa, habang ang isip ay tahimik, wala ni gulo ang biwa. Subalit isang araw may liwanag na biglang kakato upang masilayan ang ganda ng mundo. At bilang isang bata, Pinangarap natin noon na magkaroon ng kompletong pamilya, maraming kaibigan at kalaro. Ngunit sa kwento na may isa hindi na tuloy na pangalan, ay tila taliwas at napagdamutan siya ng tadhana. Sabi ko sa nila, okay, wala kaming makain, basta ano, magkakasabi pa may kalor. Wala eh. Kahit sa hirap at ginawa lang kami, okay na sa agad ako kapag alam. Basta kasapok yung nanay at tatay ko. Hindi ko yun na, ko yun na naranasan. Bata pa lamang si Marisa ay naging produkto na siya ng magulong pamilya. Nariyan ang paghihiwalay ng kanyang mga magulang na labis na kaapekto 
sa kanya. Makalipas na ang ilang taon, ay pinadaladala na ni Marisa ang katanungan kung bakit naghiwalay ang kanyang mga magulang. Dahil na rin sa hirap ng buhay na kanilang binanas, ay tila naka-apekto iyon sa kanyang nabis na pag-iisip na siyang naging sanghe ng pagkakaluklok muli sa madilim na sige. Nawawala ng pag-asa, hindi alam ang gagawin. At ang tanging paraan upang makataka sa sobrang kalungkutan at pag-iisip ay ang pagtatapos niya sa kanyang buhay. Tapos pinainom ako ng tears para para hindi mag-overtake kasi hindi talaga ako nakakatulong. So, sobrang depressed ko, sobrang hindi ko na alam ang gagawin ko. Akala nila magsasuicide ako, ganyan. Maramdam ko, mabigat pa din ako. Wala ko magawa. Boy, naging yung lolo ko, pastor siya. Nang kumakanta sila ng heel song, iyak ako ng iyak. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Nung nagpe-pray na, iba talaga, iba talaga yung magic. Yung pala yung kulang sa akin mo. Hindi ko maramdaman si God God. Eh, saradong saradong yung isip ko. Hanggang sa nawala na yung gamot sa akin. Ang naging triplet ko na lang yung pagpe-pray, pagdadasan. Ang kwento ni Marisa ay sa lamang sa nagpapatunay na kahit anong dago ang humarap sa ating buhay, ay huwag na huwag tayong makakalimot sa Panginoon. Muli ito po si Juday. Maraming salamat. Okay, uh, Juday, maganda yung pagkakagawa mo. Uh, execution, maganda. Yung edit, maganda. Tapos, very straightforward siya. Tapos, gusto ko pa yung silhouette uh, na approach. Tapos, siguro ang worry ko lang yung mga pictures kung ano ba yun, original ba yun, sa'yo ba yun, or downloaded. Pero aside from that, lahat maganda. Eh. So, yun lang. Good luck. Well, I really did appreciate your consistency to the theme of your vlog with all the elements involved, such as the lighting, the music, the way you would articulate and tell the story, kind of all contributed to this mood that you were going to go for. And it was a really um, well done piece and really artistically done. I loved the silhouettes. You did that extremely well. Um, so great job on that. Um, yeah, just keep going and doing what you're doing. I think it was really great. Good job. Hmm. That is so malaala mo kaya. <laughs> but good job, Judai. I like this um uh very this episode of your vlog. Um I'm trying to compose my thoughts because that already your story already your vlog already captured me. It captured my heart. Um, all right, okay, so storytelling wise, uh, I like how it's 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 the scripted, you know, it's obviously you've prepared for it, it's a very good thing because I saw how you how much you prepare for it. Um, yung uh, storytelling mo to Lituloy, I think your strength is trying to personify someone. Uh, like I said, it's so maalala mo kaya that's where your creativity came in. Na, uh, I like how you insert in your vlog at naisip mo na gayahin ang maalaala mo if I'm not mistaken, Charo Santos, di ba? So you use her and you copy her. I think this um, personifying a character vlog type works very well for you. So in the future, um, if you can produce more of a story like this perhaps ito magiging trademark mo na you can uh, create your story through uh, through uh, through let's say copying other characters that tells also a story if you're very good at it and you're very already very good at copying maalaala mo kaya so I think that's a good thing that's your strength so stick on that as well um yung pagpili mo so you go in a conflict uh, pagpili mo of a very specific person uh, her story uh, how she goes through something how she struggles in life how suicide is her suicide has been her option in life um, 
it's very common to everyone i think many people can relate on it at the at this moment in time and uh, there's a climax and um pag offer ng, and at the end you offer a solution and you offer a resolution so um presenting that whole thing um made your storytelling and creativity very clear to us and you know nadala kami nadala ako bilang audience mo um i guess in the future lang um i probably would wanted to look at a kind of vlog na raw um since this is a uh you know this is vlogging um just probably try to explore lang uh the kind of vlog na not so much of a stage up not so much of a scripted but um uh, something something that tells uh, perhaps your story how how you would want to um tell your uh, audience your personal story but i think also this one already works out for you and um i really wanted to see more of this as well perhaps i am curious kung paano mo siya may insert together yun siguro ang hanapin ko on your next vlog kasi ang ganda na nito eh it's it's alam mo yung para akong nanonood ng talaga maalaala mo and um and you look like you've been um acting in a theater already so paano kaya yung ano paano mo kaya i-insert next time yung rawness of the vlog and uh um personifying other character that would be a challenge for you since napakagaling mo na this one. Alright, so um, looking forward on your next vlog.